Yeah, shit's going down, boys. Uh oh, guys. No, not Jenkins. I remember being genuinely spooked, like scared for this mission. Can you guys hear it okay? Clear. I'm bringing us down. Go, go, go. Stay close, Jenkins. Mendoza, move it up. Wait here for the captain and his squad, then get your ass inside. Sir! Okay, let's move! I don't remember this whole deal. Which is weird, right? I mean, look at it. Something scrambled the insides. What's that? Plasma scoring? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there was an accident, you know, a friendly fire or something? What do we have, Sergeant? Looks like a Covenant patrol. Badass elite units. All KIA. Real pretty. Friend of yours? No, we just met. Right, well, let's get this door open. I'll try, sir. But it looks like these Covenant worked pretty hard to lock it down. Just do it, son. Yes, sir. Feeling about this. Boys, boys got a bad feeling about Captain something. Captain Sergeant, can you hear me? What's going on, soldier? We've got contact. Slap them. They're not coming. They're, they're just staring through us. What the slow down? Corporal, do you copy? Over. Mendoza, get your ass back up to second squad's position and find out what the hell is going on. But I don't have time for your lip, soldier. I gave you an Sarge, order. Sarge, listen. What is that? Where's that coming from, Everywhere. Mendoza? I don't... There! Get out! No oh, shit. Hold still! Hold still! Let him have it! Wow, some of those sounds sucked. 
I'll catch up with chat here in a minute, guys. Let's see here. Working on a new Facebook page, WV3DP. Last one got hacked. Stupid Facebook. That sucks, man. That's a lot of work, too, making a page. There's literally an inch of dust on my 360. We may need to clean it before we turn it on. I probably would just because it might catch fire. Um, and then the Halo show wasn't great in my opinion, but the battle scenes and the sound effect, the special effects were uh, great. I, uh, I watched the first few episodes and I really did enjoy the action and stuff like that. It didn't really suck me in. And some of the characters were actually insufferable. Oh, okay. Here it begins, boys. We knew it was coming. And now it's here. How come those guys didn't just do what I'm doing? You know? Can we talk about the genius of this game's story, though? I mean, cause especially like how, because of the, like, I have a feeling like this thing had to be done, hadn't been done a whole lot. Oh, we got big ones now. But like, you spend the whole game thinking that, uh, that the Covenant are the main bad guys. And like, that's what you're gonna be dealing with the whole time. And then you have a parasitic zombie species. That is actually the real threat and what the bat and like what the forerunners were trying to prevent. So I urge you that when I do the poll, that you pretty please go and vote and uh, tell me how you want it. And then we can decide if you want me to do them in uh, chronological or I'll probably do it by release, honestly. That makes the most sense, right? Do two, three, ODST, reach, and then four. That seems like it might be the move. But I know we're in for some cool stuff. Yeah, I have seen Legends. And I've seen, uh, I've seen Forward Under Dawn. And Legends was really good. You guys will learn this about me. And, well, in fact, you're going to learn it about me right now because I'm about to tell you, but I love, I am a absolute slut for anthologies of almost all varieties. Like, I really liked uh, Love, Death, and Robots. Which is literally by definition and by definition and execution and anthology. No, we're going back in. All right, team. Let's roll out. Just got a few thousand zombies to kill. We can do this. Yeah. 
Man, he's gonna suck. like uh sorry we must continue Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I didn't catch any of what you were saying there, Mr. Guilty, Mr. Spark. Hold your position until the monitor returns. Cool. We haven't come across one of those uh, terminals in a while. I must be running past them or something. Yo, Sentinels, watch where you're fucking shooting, boys. Damn. Well, good thing I'm not a story terminal because apparently I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I also haven't plugged the channel in a while. You guys should uh, go over there and check that out. I am releasing content every day. All my old streams are on there, so you can watch like the live uncut playthroughs of my previous games. Um, Squid has been working really hard, cutting those up into episodes so that they're a little bit more digestible. And you can like have like good defined stopping points. Uh, cuts out a lot of the filler and bullshit. Um, he actually, the Darksider episodes are releasing right now, and he just, just the other day, Friday, yesterday, finished, uh, making the Two Worlds episodes. 
Guy's a fucking guy's a fucking monster. He fucking just fucking gets it done. Kills it. But yeah, if you can go over there and give those videos a like, maybe leave a comment on them. Just that way YouTube sees them, sees the people who are uh, watching it, so maybe they'll put it in front of other people. Also, don't forget to like the stream. I appreciate it. Thank you. <clears throat> I need more shotgun. Look, I haven't got any shotgun bullets for a while. Oh, okay. Alright, I gotta make these guys fucking disappear. Fuck. I'm bad with computers, man. It's kind of embarrassing. It's not embarrassing. Especially if you don't spend too much time on them. I imagine what, you watch it on your phone. But also, learning a thing or two about computers is not a bad skill to have. It's not a bad thing to pick up. I feel like it's that way for a lot of people, man. Thumb being your uh, phone being your lifeline. I use mine so fucking much, uh, especially for work. I like how Guilty Spark keeps trying to just like have a fucking conversation with me while I'm down here literally fighting for my fucking life. I will say this mission did not age well. This is some boring fucking shit. I mean, think about it. You're literally in the same hallway. I think we've been on this mission for about 45 minutes now. Maybe longer. And it doesn't feel any different than when I first started it. New games I'm hyped for. I've been seeing that one. It looks like it's a Souls like, but I don't think it's coming out until. Where are they? Where are they? Oh. Twenty twenty five or something like that. But it's uh. You essentially you play as the uh, Sun Goku, the Monkey King from the. Uh, Journey to the West saga. It's like the same saga that uh, Dragon Ball is based off of. And honestly, it's like it's like a Chinese mythos, I do believe. 
and like it just looks really fucking good like all the bosses and stuff like that and i like from soft games i don't think it's a from soft game but i like games like dark souls and stuff They're in the goddamn walls. Okay. Guess we're just uh, missing shots today. That's okay. Have I seen Dragon Ball Super? Yes, sir. I have seen all of it and all the movies. I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball, I love it all. Give it all to me. Been watching it since I was a kid. Can't get enough of it. I would actually that's another game i don't know if it's actually out yet but the new dragon ball uh dragon ball z tenkaichi game i think that's gonna be a lot of fun honestly and it sounds to me like if they do it right there's gonna be a lot of like multiplayer uh benefits to it too my favorite arc Obviously, like, Dragon Ball Z for me is the OG because that's what I grew up watching. And it's just, like, kind of fucking perfect. But my favorite arc, uh, and it's the same as a lot of other people's, but, uh, the fucking Cell Games, man. The fucking Cell Games arc and the arc leading up to it. That shit's fucking gold. Actual primo gold. Some of the best fight scenes. Some of the best character progression. Um, Gohan was only a little bit older than me in the anime whenever I was watching it. And he was voiced by a dude with the same name as me. So, like, I identified with him a little bit. Not that I could, like, go Super Saiyan and do cool shit like that, but, uh... Oh, Namek Saga is also just like OG, but it's like one of those things like it's really hard to just like pick one, right? Because they're all so good for different reasons. Dude, like when Goku went Super Saiyan for the first time, I remember going to school the next day and me and all my friends were just like inconsolably hyped dude it was like insane like we got in trouble for acting so hyped in the lunchroom the day after because it uh it came on toonami right after school so it was almost impossible for me to not like come across it Oh my god, guys, are we fucking here? Dude, there's literally no cover. Yeah. 
Yeah, Vegeta coming in clutch there at the end with the boost saga. Like, actually, like, putting aside his pride for a minute and, like, holding him off just so, like, Goku could get strong enough. Also, we got, uh, you know, fusions in that arc, which was, like, pretty sweet. And I think, like, actually done pretty fucking well. on a cross, boys. God, that was a very well-placed grenade. Getting low on the old ammunition. Shit, 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 shit. I don't know why he was trying to do that. Shit. 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 Oh, man. And still the fucking needler, dude. Fuck the needler. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, boys. That mission. My character was already loaded in the center. The flood is spreading. Hot damn, son of a bitch. Which means that any organism with sufficient mass and cognitive capability is a potential factor. Is something wrong? No, nothing. Splendid, shall we? Unfortunately, my usefulness to this particular endeavor has come to an end. Protocol does not allow units with my classification to perform a task as important as the reunification of the index with the core. That final step is reserved for you, Reclaimer. He's a friend. Oh, I didn't realize. He's your pal, 
Is he your chum? Do you have any idea what that bastard almost made you do? Yes. Activate Halo's defenses and destroy the Flood, which is why we brought the Index to the Control Center. You mean this? A construct in the core? That is absolutely unacceptable. Sod off. What in madness? I shall purge you at once. You sure that's a good idea? How? How? How dare you? Oh! Do what? I have the index. You can just float and sputter. Enough. The flood is spreading. If we activate Halo's defenses, we can wipe them out. You have no idea how this ring works, do you? Why the Forerunners built it? Why would I Halo fucking know Cortana? Kill blood. It kills their food. Humans, Covenant, whatever. We are all equally edible. The only way to stop the flood is to starve them to death. And that's exactly what Halo is designed to do. Wipe the galaxy clean of all sentient life. You don't believe me? Ask him. Is it true? More or less. Technically, this installation's pulse has a maximum effective radius of 25,000 light years. But once the others follow suit, this galaxy will be quite devoid of life. Or at least any life with sufficient biomass to sustain the flood. But you already knew that. I mean, how couldn't you? Left out that little detail, did he? We have followed outbreak containment procedure to the letter. You were with me each step of the way as we managed this crisis. Chief, I'm picking up movement. Why would you hesitate to do what you've already done? We need to go right now. Last time you asked me if it were my choice, would I do it? Having had considerable time to ponder your my answer has not changed. There is no choice. We must activate the ring. Get us out of here. If you are unwilling to help, I will simply find another. Still, I must have the index. Give your construct to me, or I will be forced to take it from you. That's not going to happen. So be it. Save his head. Dispose of the rest. <laughs> <laughs> 